Double kill. Killing spree. Double kill. Halo's multiplayer announcer is beautiful. He's a holdover from a simpler time for shooter games. While everything takes itself rather seriously nowadays, trying to give their multiplayer arenas something you could possibly call context, games used to be a lot more loose with their multiplayer arenas, not caring too much why a bunch of random people are grouped up together and fighting each other in small enclosed locations. Typically, games such as Quake had an announcer who would grace your ears with his buttery words whenever you accomplish a feat of skill. Welcome to Quake 3 Arena. Enter the portal to begin combat. Back in the early 2000s, when Bungie developed the split-screen multiplayer for Halo Combat Evolved, they also included their own version of the Quake announcer. But what made Bungie's special was that they happened to find the perfect voice for it. Double kill. This man, Jeff Steitzer, thought he'd be getting the role of the Master Chief but in a lot of ways, he got something better. Thanks to Jeff Steitzer's beautiful vocal cords, Halo's multiplayer announcer was made iconic. Ball taken. Yeah, it's a word that's a bit overplayed. But even people who don't play Halo know this voice and quote it all the time. I can't begin to tell you how many non-Halo videos I've seen where the Halo announcer is used as a joke or a random soundbite. In my school when I was younger, kids called the Halo announcer the voice of God because of the almost ethereal way he'd announce your accomplishments and the disconnection that he had from the match. Explosion sounds came from explosives. Gunshots and screams were just part of the battlefield, but the Halo announcer? He was something heavenly, with his buttery, smooth, calm, collected, yet attention-commanding voice. As Halo continued into the Xbox 360 generation, he seemed to play a lot more into the graveliness and bassiness of his vocal cords, adopting much more of a badass tone, and boy did people love it. Killing spree. Sniper spree. When Halo Reach came out, you could not escape fellow students in the halls quoting, Infected. New zombie. Infected. New zombie. <laughs> or flag taken, flag dropped. What's cool about Jeff Snyder is he even narrated an old school style commercial for the remaster of the original Halo. Look at this. This is so cool. It feels like something from 2001. Ten years ago, Halo introduced millions of fans to an incredible new universe and delivered billions of hours of entertainment. In Halo 4's multiplayer, there is actually a narrative context to the multiplayer. The context being that these matches are actually just a training simulation. And so the Halo announcer's vocal direction and presentation was modified to be less of a voice of God and more like some kind of artificial intelligence sportscaster of the future. His energy levels were upped and a ton of new medals were added to the game so that players could ride the high that his excited shouts would bring them. Regicide execution. Halo may have changed developers, but 343 went out of their way to keep the same multiplayer announcer. And I think that's really cool. What do you think of the voice direction he had in Halo 4? He'll take it. The kind of futuristic esports voice continued into Halo 2 Anniversary, which is interesting, but starting with Halo 5, Halo's voice of God suddenly found himself in competition for players' ears. The role of the Halo announcer was shared between multiple people in Halo 5. Jennifer Hale would be the announcer for the Warzone game mode and would communicate the status of the match in character as the Spartan commander, Sarah Palmer, and the traditional multiplayer would have Jeff Steitzer announcing things such as the match start and end, the time remaining, and other such things. The announcements for objective statuses, weapon spawns, etc. was given to this guy who kind of sounds like he has a sinus congestion. Defend our carrier. Our flag's back at base. This was probably done to sell the idea of the multiplayer being a training simulation and feel a bit more narratively grounded in the world of Halo 5. They did noticeably tone down the robotic filter on Jeff Steitzer's voice in Halo 5, but he seems to be having a lot of fun in the role. 
I'm not sure if this is the direction he was given, or if this is genuinely Jeff Steitzer, the man, but you get the sense that he's having just a ton of fun delivering the lines given to them. Take a listen to this. Listen to that energy. Unfreaking believable combat evolved. What's cool about Halo 5 is they even tapped into the idea of announcer voice packs. Players can buy the charismatic voice of Nathan Fillion, a pretty entertaining grunt, and this robot lady from the Halo 5 campaign. Your combat has evolved from inside your grave! It's unfortunate that there's no way to replace the sniper rifle on the field guy, but the idea of voice packs is a really cool one, and I hope 343 explores it in Halo Infinite. I'm not normally one to advocate for monetization, but little personalization touches like this are something I could easily see myself spending the price of two sodas on if I wanted my Halo announcer to be the voice of Master Chief. <gasps> or even better, that pilot guy from Halo Infinite. I rerouted what needle power I had into your suit. One area of Halo 5 that I have to say is a missed opportunity was making the strange choice to replace the classic Infected New Zombie with a very simplistic Infected. I would have loved to hear Jeff Steitzer delivering the iconic line with the manic energy of his Halo 5 performance. Maybe we're gonna hear it in Halo Infinite? Here's to hoping. What's the point of this video, you may ask? And that's a very good question. I was watching a Bungie GDC talk about their version of Halo multiplayer in Destiny called The Crucible, and how The Crucible's announcer evolved and changed over time. When Destiny first launched, the announcer was a bit like that voice of God in Halo, delivering his lines very stoically and having a detached presence to the deliveries. What they found was, though, over time, the occasional line that was maybe a bit more excited was actually really embraced by the community. This led to Bungie rethinking the Crucible announcer, and actually eventually completely overhauling him with new lines to turn him into someone that would encourage the player whenever they were down, and heaping praise on them whenever they succeeded. It had me thinking about Halo's iconic announcer and why his detached voice always worked and to this day still works. It's not a trait exclusive to Jeff Steitzer. I think the key of any objective or game mode announcer is that the voice needs to be arresting and immediately commanding of your attention. It's something games like Doom 2016's multiplayer and even Overwatch do really well. Listen to these beautiful announcer voices. Next round beginning soon. Multiple personal bests. New personal best. Five, four, three, two, one. Remember, no survivors. In short, I think it's a combination of multiple things. While there is definitely that just beautiful sound that the rumbly, bassy announcer brings, Halo chose a very special set of pipes to do the announcer. This is then helped when each new Halo release goes out of its way to find new crazy sounding metals and just ridiculous things for Jeff Steitzer to say. I love Halo's announcer. While I don't appreciate Halo 5 sidelining him in Warzone and having him share audio space with Mr. Congested, Our flag's back at base. he is consistently the best part of each new Halo release. It's a ritual to always find YouTube compilations when the new Halo game releases and people are able to record all the new medals from Jeff Steitzer. And to this day, Jeff Steitzer is still absolutely killing it. I guess I made this video just as a love letter to Halo's announcer. He's a special part of Halo and just gaming at large. People call him the voice of God for a reason, and his iconic voice descending from the clouds to firmly announce Infected New Zombie. Killing spree. Killing spree. Double kill. The goosebumps he's given me over the years will never be forgotten, and I'm looking forward to many more goosebumps. I said the word goosebumps too much. 
It sounds weird now in my mouth. What is your favorite Halo announcer quote? It can be an official one or a cut one. How good was your school impression of the Halo announcer? Let me know down below, and I'll see you guys on the next video.